I think we in healthcare think we're special. And I, of course, think we're special. But I think there's this great convergence that can happen. And I applaud Reed at St. Luke's for doing this. He just brought on somebody completely outside of healthcare. The guy came from NASA, looking at all his development that he's doing in-house, what he wants to keep, what he doesn't. And the guy has no healthcare experience. So the poor guy's, I'm sure, drinking from a fire hose and is overwhelmed by the amount of consensus, right, that we have to drive in order to get anything done. But I think when you can take someone like that's so super smart and pair them together and make a partnership in a team with the healthcare domain main expertise, I think that becomes really powerful, constantly keeping up with the build and the optimization of a system. So I think we all have to be creative. And I think sometimes it's like anything. It's like the boiling frog story. Remember you read to your kid, yeah. you sit there and you only slowly increase the water and lukewarm water until it's boiling. And then the frog has boiled itself to death and didn't even know that it was happening to him. And yeah. so we, we have a great opportunity in healthcare to get out of our own way. I always talked about creating margin. I wanted to create margin for my team, which was hours, hours that they could actually work on problems. And what I find in a lot of IT organizations when I walk in is their IT staff has no margin. And so it's like when they come in today, all eight hours are spoken for. And it's, I've got this project, I got this, I got these deliverables, I got to do this. Without margin, people never have time to go, hey, there might be a better way exactly. of approaching this. That's why we were so passionate about the solution that we created. It's really important to bring something to a market that's actually going to free people up. And when you can use automation to let people do more meaningful work and give them the opportunity to be creative and use their brains rather than a lot of the rote stuff that they have to do, that's important. You've got to get it done. You've got to, you've got to test, you've got to regression test your system. You have to be more efficient but my gosh, nobody likes to do it. And let these people free up and go work more creatively. I think it's just broader than that, Bill. I feel like we just need to give permission to people to say, go solve this problem, be resourceful. Yeah. How do you solution this? We don't have to do the things the same way that we've always done them. Sometimes I wanna say, help me help you. So I just think we have to continue to help and push and we have to meet our clients where they're at and help as best we can. 